So I made a, a previous video of this Benz engine and uh, it's now finished and it's painted up as you can see. It's a pretty good looking engine. Uh, it was very interesting. This is all built from solid. I did not have the casting set because I was told the casting sets are not available. And I, some people tell me they are, but I can't seem to find out where. And I've talked to the, the people that had the company that they say, no, they're not available. But there it is, built from solid. The only casting here is the flywheel itself. Everything else I had to manufacture from solid bar stock. And the only drawback to this engine is I can't get it to hand start. I've managed to start it twice by hand starting. But you have to flip this flywheel so fast that it just it, it won't fire. And the problem that I found is the intake valve. The intake valve is a slide valve, and it leaks a little bit. But the problem is you can't adjust that so you get a long enough opening to really get the intake uh, mixture good. And what happens is it eight cycles. So it'll, it'll take in the first uh, intake, and then it'll go around again. And when it gets the second intake, the mixture is good enough to fire. So the only way you could cure that is by timing this valve different. And there isn't any way to time it different. I've tried, tried to do it, but it doesn't seem to work. It just, uh, because of the mechanical action of that, it, it's, the timing is the distance that it goes down there. And if you keep making it more distance, it overlaps. So that may be why you don't see a lot of these engines out there running, but uh, it's a beautiful engine. I love it. I mean, it's, but it just doesn't scale down well. I think the problem is scaling it down, that valve doesn't work as well. So we'll take it and we'll start her up and show it to you running. And I have to put it on the drill press to start it up. In order to start this, I've put a, uh, a rubber wheel on the, the drill press and I can swing this in and touch it. And that's how I start it. So I, I get it running at a pretty good speed here. Just touch that in, put the switch on. It doesn't start very easy, but once it gets running, it's pretty good. So we'll give you some Like I said before, this is a beautiful engine, but uh, it's not for the for the beginner. I'll tell you right now, it's I've built a lot of engines, and I just can't believe that I can't get this to run run right. It's, it runs, but it's not what I would call a, a good running engine, and it won't hand start. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and give us a thumbs up. That's what we live on. Thank you very much.